Hi, I'm Joshua Evans. Welcome back for session eight of the 12 week series on a culture of engagement. So I'm excited that you're here. I cannot wait to talk to you. Today we're gonna to talk about ending mercenary behavior. Say, Josh, I don't have any mercenaries, I have employees. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because I think that we've had it wrong for a long time, right? For the past six decades, we've been contributing to a mercenary behavior by every single one of our employees. We've been bribing them to stay here. And there's a huge problem. With that. No, Josh, I don't hire mercenaries. I hire employees. They care about their work. Are you sure? Here's how it started, right? First off, here's some money for this task, right? We give them a list of the tasks, functions, responsibilities for their role, and we'll give you this stack of money for it. And the employee goes, okay. And then our competitors come up to that same employee and they have the same list of of tasks, functions, and responsibilities. We go, hey, and we'll give you a little bit bigger stack of money. We cannot get mad at our employees if they go to that other company. You know why? We've conditioned them, right? Society has conditioned them to be mercenaries. So we, we knew about this, right? So like, okay, well, what we need to do is we need to worry about the employee experience. We've been looking at that wrong too, because now we have this stack of money, right? And they've got insurance and medical benefits and they have bonuses and they have profit sharing and we have a 401k matching program that's phenomenal Ooh, and maybe we're gonna add a Roth 401k oh now we're talking like this is amazing not only that we negotiated to get you a deal on on you know this spa or at this gym and all of a sudden these little perks start becoming bribes right they're not perks to work there they are bribes to keep them there you are incentivizing mercenary behavior all of it. I'm talking about the foosball tables in the break room, the bring your dog to work date, the free tacos on Tuesday, the free beer on Friday afternoons after 2.30 in the afternoon, Bob. All of those things are bribes. They're small bribes we're using to keep people there. And the problem is we're incentivizing mercenary behavior. People need to be true believers of what we're trying to accomplish and they need to go. If we want to create an organization that has phenomenal culture and has engaged employees, we need to start with the people that are unable to be engaged and those are the mercenaries. We need to stop incentivizing mercenary behavior. Stop bribing them to stay. Here's, here's the kicker. I think that we need to start bribing people to leave. <gasps> what? What? You want to pay people to leave the organization? Josh, you're crazy. No, I'm not. In fact, we know that Zappos does that, right? They take everybody after their first month of working there and they offer them thousands of dollars. They go, we will give you thousands of dollars to leave our company. And they offer it to every single person. You know why? Because anybody that takes the money doesn't really care about Zappos. They don't really care about that organization. We need to be bribing people to leave, not to stay. People should want to be there. They should feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. We have to end this mercenary behavior. Employee experience is not about the free bribes, perks, and things that they get. That's not what it is. Real employee experience is about helping our team members develop an emotional connection to their contribution. Did you catch that? It's not about the free food in the break rooms. It's not about unlimited PTO. It's not about matching 401ks. No, employee experience is about helping our team members have an emotional connection to their contribution. That's where they derive meaning. That's what keeps phenomenal company cultures rolling. That's what keeps people engaged. So, end the mercenary behavior, keep your team striving towards a phenomenal culture and make sure they care about the work that they're trying to accomplish, all right? So, thank you again for joining me this week. Cannot wait to see you again next week. Stay well and stay awesome.